Alrighty, here we go, number 20. What's your pleasure here to give a couple hundred dollar for him? Two. 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you for being so honorable with that. <laughs> <laughs> what about three and a quarter twenty-five? I get three and a quarter, three and a quarter, three twenty-five. What about three twenty-five going once? Three and a half of the three fifty going twice. Less than ten of Gotta go get swat knife. Thank you for your help. We're gonna rid over here, Mary. Three twenty-five. Looks like the student has become the teacher. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this way, this way, this way, folks. All right, let's see what we got here. Piece of artwork. So for the canvas alone, 50 bucks. Some kid toys, five bucks. Oh, an old stereo turntable. It's clean, classy, and it's cool. 50 bucks for this thing. And a little cabinet, 10 bucks for that. These are cool, these old jewelry boxes. I like these. Five bucks for that. Another five for this. Oh, look, an old Nordic track. I'm gonna say 40 bucks. Cute. Little uh, tables for eating dinner and such. <laughs> 10 bucks for these. Okay, Rolodex, here we go now, vintage. You always hear about people going through your Rolodexes. Well, here we go. Sell this 25 bucks. What is this? Oh, it is cool though. <laughs> Portable lamp, yep. This little sticker right here, that's vintage. 50 bucks for this thing. Oh, cool! Fake light. Small bracelets. These are awesome. So, 70s, cool. These jewelry boxes are good. Ooh, Berlin. These look pretty old. The design alone is awesome and like mid century modern. So chic. I think maybe I should get this stuff checked out. I usually don't think twice about plastic jewelry, but this stuff is. Cool. Mid-century modern galore. <gasps> Smells like money. I've invited my friend Charles Phoenix. What's up, pussycat? AKA the ambassador of Americana to check out my plastic Bakelite jewelry. Is it Bakelite or Fakelite? That's <laughs> what we're gonna find out right here. Real Bakelite okay. is like the gold of plastic. It was invented about 110 years ago by a guy whose name was Leo Bakeland. Oh, okay. So he named it after cool. himself. We should test some of these pieces to see okay. if they're real. Do you have um, 409 and a Q-tip will do it? Yeah. So if we spray a little 409 on the Q-tip, if you rub it a little bit and it turns yellow, that means you've got Bakelite. If there's no yellow, sorry. Moment of truth, if it turns yellow, I'll be making some green. So here we go. We're gonna rub it a little bit on the inside. Rubbity rub, 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 rub. And then, oh look, it's yellow. Can you see that? Yeah. So that is genuine, authentic bake light. Yes. Okay. Yes. I would say this is $195. Really yes. nice detail. Oh my God. And then you've got these bangles. These, I mean, all together like this, they're great colors. They've got a great patina. I would say probably about 150 for all of these. Really? Yeah. We all love color. Oh, look at this. Now this is an unbelievable piece. Okay, this is major. <laughs> this is real. This yes, is okay. I wouldn't sell it off my neck if I were you for less than about $300. Awesome. Oh, look at that. That's the other thing. Bakelite has a sound to it. Oh. It has a musical. Hear that kind of yeah. harmony? Totally. Yeah, this is definitely <laughs> Bakelite. Uh, this is really rare. Red is super desirable. And then this mustard accent. <laughs> I would say on this one, you could probably get 350. Really? Yeah. Wow. I know. I can't believe how much my Bakelite's worth. This plastic is fantastic. Pure plastic gold. Chiching. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world!